Alrighty, so today we're going to do my top favorite number two in my God tier films. We have 2003's Identity, special edition. And this movie is phenomenal. Multiple plot twists, and then a giant plot twist. <laughs> at the end like this movie is fucking amazing and it's so short too because it feels longer than it is but it's so good clean ass disc for the most part <sighs> and inside <laughs> here's something you don't see every day the scene selections, these are so rare nowadays. Because they don't ever have them with Blu-ray anymore. Let's see, I Own Forsaken. That was really good. Darkness Falls was eh. Mothman Prophecies, that was awesome. And U-Turn. That was pretty good too. I have to get that then. Nothing like seeing J-Lo fucking on screen. <laughs> Oops, spoiler. <laughs> so, this is an all-star cast film. This has John Cusack, Ray Liotta, Amanda Peet. Oh my, there we go. John Hawks, Alfred Molina, Clea Duval, John C. McGinney, William Lee Scott, Jake Busey, Pruitt Taylor, Pruitt Taylor Vince, and Robert, oh, pfft, Rebecca De Mornay. And it's directed by James Mangold, written by Michael Cooney. So, you know why this is God tier for me? Because multiple plot twists and the way it jumps right into the film. Um, the best part about this is that. When I first saw it, it was on TV, and I didn't know what the hell it was. But when I, you know, sat down, I really got sucked into it. I was like, damn, this is really good. Because there, cause there was a plot to, like, who killed who, and who did this, and who did that. And then it all wrapped up in the end. I was like, holy shit, that was amazing. And, of course, I caught it every time I watched it. And you know you've gone through this, too, because it's an occurrence. You find the movie on TV, you always catch like the last half hour of it or the last hour or whatever part of it all the time. So I ended up catching the last 45 minutes of this multiple times and then I finally found it playing beginning to end, watched it, fucking loved it, bought it. Uh, I think I got this off of eBay for about 6 or $7 maybe. Damn good deal for it. It's a bitchin' movie. And the best part is, most of my DVDs that I've bought, like I've said, aren't that scratched up, don't need to be repla upgraded to Blu-ray, they don't need replaced. Um, one of my Blu-rays does need replaced, and that is, you know, Ultramarines, 40, a Warhammer 40k movie. I'll do a review on that at another time. Um, yeah, the blue, for some reason, the Blu-ray skips at one part, which is really weird. But then again, when I did get it in the mail, sealed, completely sealed, the disc was loose, so something happened. There is, like, small scratches on it, but nothing, like, super severe to ruin the gameplay on it. Or, yeah, video play, or playback, whatever. Back to this. So... Out of all these characters, the one I like most is probably Ray Liotta. Because, you know, I grew up watching Ray Liotta stuff a lot. And, you know, his, the way he comes on screen is so good. But, you know, also, you know, John Cusack was phenomenal. Amanda P. All of them were phenomenal in this movie. The whole cast, the whole ensemble. Beautiful. The story is phenomenal. The premise is out of this world. Um, it's one of the reasons that I got into writing, you know? It's one of the reasons that I 
you know, inv- I started working plot twists into my stories and stuff because I like that shit. So, yeah. I mean, it's just, this movie is so good. This makes, if you like a good psych thriller with a plot twist, this is for you. Definitely. It can also be, you know, maybe a date night flick, unless you're a squeamish little pussy who can't handle, you know, this kind of stuff. Um, would I recommend it to friends? Hell yeah, because some of them have seen it, some of them haven't. So, I'm bringing it to you? Duh, that's why I'm doing a video. <laughs> so, if you don't like this on this ensemble cast... This ain't for you. If you like some of them in this, it's for you. If you aren't a fan of Ray Liotta, John Cusack, or Amanda Peet, sorry, the same for you. Um, what else? You know, if you aren't into psych thrillers, not for you. If you aren't into multiple plot twists, not for you. If you don't like a giant plot twist, definitely not for you. Um, yeah, that's all I got. So, I'll be back because we're going to do some more movie reviews as we go. So, stay tuned.